Hello, my beautiful Virgos and cross watchers. Welcome to your next 48. This is going to be for October 5th and October 6th, Saturday and Sunday. Technically a weekend read, I guess. You versus them. So guys, if you're currently subscribed to my channel, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to click that red subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner underneath this video. Um, I do choose multiple subscribers every month for free readings. Um, I also give away tarot cards and I give away oracle cards. Now the winners are always announced on the monthly readings, so please be sure to click that notification bell so you know when those readings post, okay? I am taking personal readings. It is $5 off your first reading with me, okay? And um, the deck that we're using today is the Arcanum deck, I believe it's pronounced. It is number six in the description box below. There is a uh, Amazon link in case you're interested in purchasing. Guys, this is for uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, sorry, I, I haven't said that before. Um, I had a couple of people ask. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Virgos and their person? What messages do my Virgos need to hear? What clarity and guidance can we give to my Virgos, please, for October 5th and October 6th, 2019, please, Holy Spirit. So we have the Two of Cups, the Four of Cups, the King of Cups, the Devil, and the Six of Pentacles. We had the Ten of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles, the Moon, the Four of Wands, and Judgment. Eight of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so Virgo, I'm going to be reading you on this side, your person on this side. You can flip it, twist it, reverse it. It is a personal reading. It is for the collective, so if it fits into your life the opposite way, that's fine, okay? If none of this resonates at all, Please click off. Do not force it to fit into your life. It's simply not your message, okay? So, Virgo, let's start with you. So we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And then we have, this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Hey, now, what's going on here? Okay, so, signs that we could be dealing with. Capricorn, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Sagittarius. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of water here. And uh, guys, real quick, this is cool because this also happened in the Cancer reading. I've got the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here. So we have a true pair. This is a soulmate connection. This is you guys are suited for each other. All right, so back to you, Virgo, okay? So you feel like this person was worth waiting for. This is a soulmate connection. This is a deeper commitment. You're wanting to... Um, con you're feeling the connection with your person this weekend, okay? Now, with the King of Cups here, the King of Cups is a is my Mr. Hubby card, okay? Now, this is someone who is uh, very committed and very emotional, but he's so emotional that he's to the point where he almost appears cold sometimes or distant um, because he's very in control of his emotions, okay? So what this is telling me, Virgo, is that you have been very much in control of your emotions because you've been waiting for this deep connection. You've been waiting for this moment of deeper commitment, okay? Now, we have here, this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner that you seek. I feel, quite frankly here, uh, Virgo, that you have quite a few people coming towards you, um, you know, interested in you, but no one is your person. No matter who, no matter how they fill your cup, no matter what they say, no matter what you do, 
it's not your person. You're just not interested. You're rejecting quite a few people, okay? And I feel here that you have met somebody that you absolutely cannot stop thinking about. There's a lot of sexual passion here, a lot of heat, a lot of just obsession. And, and I don't think it's really toxic. I, I just think that it's just you have a very, um, what I'm feeling here is you could actually feel this person and you've been waiting for a very long time, a very long time to meet a person like this, Virgo. Okay. Now with the, uh, six of pentacles, Virgo, I feel like this person may be helping you financially or, um, just, they give you a certain balance in life. OK, um, whether it's finances, whether it's, uh, you know, a living space or just whatever the case may be. There's so many different, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is money, obviously, because of the pentacles. One moment. Guys, I am so sorry about that. OK, so back to the six of pentacles. So I feel like this person like spo I'm getting a sense of they spoil you in the way that you love to be spoiled. So whatever it is that you like, I don't know if you like purses or boat parts or whatever you're into, whether you're a guy or a girl, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine, th there's an equal give and take in this relationship. And this person is just like, I feel like you're, you're totally just <sighs> mesmerized by this person. Okay. Now your person here, we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. And then we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others, okay? So we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Virgo, you know, your person may be married, okay? Your person may be married. Your person may be well off financially, okay? Now, with the Moon card here, though, I feel that... <coughs> Excuse me. With the moon card here, I feel like your your person is addicted to work. And because they're addicted to work, maybe you're left in the dark a lot. Maybe you're just kind of left wondering a lot. Like, you know, maybe they don't um, come towards you very often or you just don't know what's going to happen with the connection because they're always working. You know, I'm getting a sense of working here. Um, with the seven of pentacles, yeah, I feel like this person is very distracted by money, Virgo. I feel like your person is very distracted by money. I feel like they, I know the Ten of Pentacles is in a love reading should be a marriage card, but I have to be honest with you. I feel like this person is more addicted to money. They're more addicted to work. As you could see here, you're sitting here waiting for them to call, waiting for them to hear from them. And you know, they're just focused on money. They're just focused on money. Now, with the Four of Wands here, though, I mean, they do see you as a twin flame. They do see you as a uh, a true partner, as a soulmate, okay? But at the same time, I feel like this person kind of comes off like very mysterious because they're, they're just like, you never know. This person just like kind of leaves themselves in this secret mode where you just never know what's happening with this person. And with the judgment card here, I feel very strongly here that this person has um, a business where they feel like they're always being judged by uh, maybe someone in social media or they have a business or this is a person that's, you know, higher up that makes a lot of money. And I feel that they're, they're always, they feel like they're always being judged by people on the outside. And that is why, you know, they're just so focused on other things. They're like actually addicted towards, um, you know, what they do. And right now they're in this case where they're committed to you. I mean, they're committed to you, Virgo. They, they see you as a soulmate, as a twin flame. Um, they like to flirt with you. But again, we have flirt here, which is very light. And it's funny because we have such a, a major card here. And then we have flirt. So as you could see, this person feels this way about you, but this is what they show. And this is why they come off as the moon card, because the moon is all about mystery. It's all about illusion. It's all about, you know, what's going on and what's being kept in, uh, kept from me, you know? And 
I truly feel like this person is just under a lot of pressure, okay? They're under a lot of pressure. You see, this is their superior, their boss, people demanding things of them, you know, and they're just, I just truly feel like this person is more worried about money. And this is why we also, this is why I felt money when I picked this up. I feel like, you know, this person may give you money, Virgo, or or this could be vice versa, but... <clears throat> I, I, I really do feel that this person is very addicted to money, addicted to making money. So they have very little time for you, Virgo. They have very little time for you. And yeah, see, we have the Eight of Cups here. Now, the Eight of Cups generally indicates um, emotional disconnection and walking away to find your Ninth and Tenth Cup. Okay. Now, in this particular case, I don't feel that the ninth or tenth cup is another person. I feel that your person here may be emotionally disconnected because, you know, money. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We have the, the Five of Swords crossing the situation. Um, this is somebody walking away, but it's it's an empty victory here. Yeah, I feel like, you know, maybe Virgo, sometimes you think about walking away, but you're, you're afraid that you're going to regret it because this person doesn't give you the time and attention that you need. Um, and we have here, we have the Four of Swords and the Queen of Cups. I'm feeling very strongly that for a lot of you, you may be dealing with a water sign. Um, also Aquarius, Gemini, Libra with the swords here. Um, but I feel like you're just very like stuck in your head about this. Emotionally stuck in your head about this. Um, you know, you just need more, you know, communication here. You need more communication. You need more passion. You need this person, again, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, you need you need them to come towards you a little bit more. You need them to, you need to know that this person wants to take this leap of faith with you. I'm going to go ahead. Um, this is something new that I'm doing, uh, you know, because uh, I, I haven't done this before with the next 48 or the, the extended. I'm going to go ahead and extend this because I'm really curious as to what this devil is. I want to know what this moon here is. Um, so what we're going to do in the extended is I'm going to clarify these cards and then we're going to do a reading on the outcome of what's going to happen between you and this person over the weekend. Okay. It is if this person is going to open up, if communication is going to start to break, if it's going to start, because the love is there. We've got the two of cups and the four of wands, but we've got a lot of other stuff coming in between you guys, which is causing this emotional disconnection. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave everything as is. We're going to pick up right from here. We're going to clarify these cards. We'll do a whole nother tower reading on the outcome. We'll pull some Oracle too to see um, what clarity and guidance we can get for you guys, okay? So if this resonated, please be sure to like. Don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win, and the link for the extended will be in the description box below. Again, if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, it's $5 off your first reading with me, and my information is in the description box below. I'll see you guys in the extended. Take care.